Good morning, Grade 1. Welcome to your math lesson for this week. Today we are going to start a new chapter, which is chapter 9, and it is about measurement. We are starting lesson 9.1, which is hands-on order length. The pages that we are going to cover today are from page 513 to page 517. Let's look at the objective of our lesson. The objective is to order objects by length. Now, what we can do is we can put objects in order from shortest to longest or from longest to shortest. We can compare two objects. And whenever we are comparing only two objects, we are going to use these terminologies. So this is a line and this is another line. So you can see the green line is shorter, whereas the pink line is longer. So whenever we are going to compare two objects, only two objects together, we are going to use terms shorter and longer with them. These will end with ER. See, shorter, we have added ER at the end of the word short. And similarly here, we have added ER at the end of the word long. So it makes shorter and longer. The green line is shorter, whereas the pink line is longer. Now, what do we do when we compare more than two objects? What terms are we going to use to explain the length, to describe the length of those objects? Now, mind it, we are comparing more than two objects here. So let's see, this is an orange line, this is a blue line, and here we have a purple line. Now, how are we going to describe the length of these lines? Which terms are we going to use? Here, we are using shortest. So, instead of adding ER at the end of the word short, we have added EST. The orange line is shortest. Shortest because we do not have two lines to compare here. Instead, we have three lines. So we cannot use the term shorter here. Instead, we will be using the term shortest. Now, how are we going to describe this blue line? We are going to say it's longer. But longer than which line? We have to add that as well. So we will say... The blue line is longer than the orange line. So if you see here, this blue line has the length which is longer than the orange line. So we are using the term longer here because I am comparing the length of this blue line with the length of this orange line only. So this makes it two lines. And whenever we are comparing two lines, two objects, we can use the terms shorter or longer. So in this case, because the blue line is longer than the orange line, so I write the blue line is longer than the orange line. This is used only for the lines, the objects that lie in between the two extremes. Now, what is the third extreme and how do we explain this? How, which term do we use to describe this line? We use the word longest. Now, if you see here, when we are describing these two lines, I added ER as I explained in the previous slide as well. We made it longer, but this line is described in comparison of all these three lines which is greater than two so i add est at the end of the word long and this makes it the this makes it 
a new term which is longest so we use shortest for the for the smallest line longest for the other extreme of the line which is the the biggest the longest one and how do we write about it the purple line is the longest now what can what else can we do when we are ordering length we can draw a missing line you might get a question where they might ask you they might give you two lines and they might might ask you to draw the third line now let's look at this example here when we compare more than two objects see this is the first line the first red line that is given to you which is the shortest line and then the same purple line which is the longest line now they might ask you to draw a line in between these two lines so you should make sure that your line should be in starting from this the length of your line should start from the end of the shortest line and it should not exceed the length of the longest line so the length of the line in the middle should be of the length in between here so let's look at this line here this is the line that you're going to draw now if you look at this line here the green line it is longer than the shortest line but it is shorter than the longest line so the length of the middle line should always be greater than the shortest line but it should be smaller than the longest line the other kind of question that you might get is they might ask you to draw three lines in order from shortest to longest so you have to start with the shortest line which is this line here this is the shortest and then the longest line which is very long so you will mark it as longest and then you have to draw this burgundy line which is in between the shortest and the longest line you might get a question where they might ask you to draw three lines in order from longest to shortest so when they ask you to draw them in order from longest you will be drawing the longest line first which is the biggest line you will label it as longest and then somewhat smaller line but whenever you are drawing the shortest line you should make sure that it is the smallest of all the lines and you're going to label it as shortest Now on page 515 of your chapter 9, let's look at this listen and draw question. Now what does the question say? Rosa has something that is longer than the drinking straw. She has another object that is shorter than the key. What objects might she have? So here we have two different objects. One is a drinking straw and the other is a key. So first, we are going to pick up the drinking straw, which is here. And they say that Rosa has something that is longer than the drinking straw. They use the term longer here because they are comparing it only with the drinking straw. So these make it two items, only two objects. So whenever we are comparing two objects, we use the term longer or shorter. So this is up to you on your book on page 513 you can draw anything which you think might be longer than a drinking straw for example i have drawn this ruler this scale and i say that yes this is what rosa has and this is longer than a drinking straw now the second part of the question says that she has something she has another object that is shorter than the key so let's draw a key this is a key now what could rosa have what might rosa have that is shorter shorter in length than a key so let's say she has a coin a coin is shorter in length as compared to the key so it's up to you these are just examples 
you are free to draw anything on page 513. One thing should be longer than the drinking straw, while the other thing should be shorter than the key. On page 514, let's look at these share and show questions. Draw three lines in order from shortest to longest. Now there are three lines and when we have more than two lines, we use the terms shortest and longest. So the first thing you have to do is you have to draw a short line. Then the line which is longer than the shortest line. Finally, you have to draw the longest line. Now your longest line should be the longest one, the biggest one. And that's what is represented by this lilac line here. So this line is the shortest, the smallest of all. This one here is longer than the shortest line, whereas the longest line is the biggest of all. That's why we call it the longest line. Now on the same page, let's look at the other question. Draw three lines in order from longest to shortest. Now what they're asking us to do is to draw the longest line first. So this is the longest. You're going to draw the longest line, the biggest line first. And in the middle of that, you're going to draw a some, somewhat shorter line. Shorter line. Now this line here is shorter than the longest line. And the shortest line should be the smallest of all. Now if you look at this slope here, it starts from the longest, the biggest, then goes smaller. And this is the shortest, the smallest line. So you should be careful with the question. You should read the question carefully if it says longest to shortest or if it says shortest to longest or otherwise if there are two objects or two lines that you have to draw. We are going to use the terms longer to shorter or shorter to longer. Read the question, read the terms carefully and then draw the objects or the lines as given in the question. On page 515, on your own questions, let's look at this question. This is compare representations. Draw three crayons in order from shortest to longest. Now one more time, because they are talking about items more than two, in this case they are talking about three crayons, that's why they have used the term shortest and longest. So they are asking you to start from the shortest. Now what is shortest? Shortest is the smallest, the tiniest bit of length, yeah, the smallest one. And longest is the biggest length, the longest length. All right, so we start with the shortest one. So this is the shortest crayon. And then in between shortest and longest is the third category, which we call it longer as compared to the shortest one. So the longer will be a little longer than the shortest one, but the longest one should be the longest one, longest one. All right, this is the, the, the biggest, the biggest of the three. All right, this is how you're going to draw. Now on page 515, look at question 13. It says complete each sentence. So in this question, you can see we have three lines, green, blue, red. Now, there are certain blanks here in this question which we have to come fill. So, the dash yarn is the shortest. Now, out of these three yarns, green, blue, red, which one is the shortest? It's this one. So, we write blue here. The blue yarn is the shortest. Now, the next sentence says the dash yarn and the dash yarn are the same length. Now, if you look at the red and the green yarn, aren't they the same length? Mm, I think they are. Look at them. They are exactly the same length. So we will write the red yarn and the green yarn are the same length. Page 516, problem solving applications Question number 16. 
match each word on the left to a drawing on the right. We have two words here. One is shortest, the other word is longest. Let's look at the drawings now. Now we have three drawings here. Now, which one is the shortest? Shortest, which is the shortest of the three? Is it this one? Mm-hmm. Is it this one? Uh-huh. Is it this one? Yes, this is the shortest. So we draw a line starting from the left and moving towards the drawing at the right. Then, which is the longest one? Is it this one? Mm-hmm. Is it this one? Yes. You see, this is the longest drawing. So, we match both of these. Now, your homework is to complete page 517 in your chapter 9. And students, make sure you complete the rest of the questions on the given pages as well. If you have any question, you can always come to your teacher for help. Until then, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye.